It's September 6, 2011. I'm good. Peanut gallery over here going, six, six. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm not going to talk about the book today. You know, I'm not sure what I'm going to talk about here. I'm in a point here where I'm starting to real. First of all, okay. The book is the past. I don't mind going through it. There's some interesting things that I don't mind bringing up, but that's over and done with. Uh, my days as an activist are, are just, well, I don't want to say they're over, um, but I'm not too sure where to go anymore with anything. It's not a matter of being burned out. It's It's more of a matter of not having a clear direction on where to go from here. I mean, a couple things, okay? Uh, first of all, Obama has sold us out. Now, a lot of you may be surprised with this. I'm really not. I was afraid this was going to happen. Um, I still like the guy in his skill set. Uh, I like how he delivers. Uh, definitely far more presidential than Bush was, but I don't like what he's doing because he's basically in his own DNC Chicago fashion is continuing the same agenda, if you will, as uh, his predecessor, and that is utilizing and wheeling and dealing with the corporations for what he feels is the benefit of the people. There's a couple of things with that, though. Uh, one of the reasons for this is he may have figured we sold him out by not backing him in 2010. Um, all I can say is I'm sorry if that's how he feels. I'm sorry if that's how the DNC feels. I, for one, couldn't vote in 2010 because I was mobile. Uh, election day... Uh, 2010, I was between Virginia and Texas looking for a job, okay? Um, you know, he's got this jobs program. He's supposed to talk about it Thursday, I think. And that should have been the primary objective way back when he was first elected and not this health care reform that basically funnels money into the coffers of the insurance companies and most of us are well I can't speak for everybody but I'm very skeptical on the validity of that will it be better than the system that was in place before probably a little bit better will it be less expensive no uh, right now you know, you are demanding that I buy health insurance, and the last health insurance I saw that was offered through the company that I'm now working for was half a week's paycheck uh, over the course of a month. I can't afford that. I just simply can't afford that. Um, I can take care of keeping a roof over my head, a little bit of food. Um, I can't even afford to gas up my vehicle on a uh, weekly basis. And the insurance I'm forced to by state mandate pay uh, on the vehicle, which is not a bad idea, don't get me wrong, uh, but it's expensive and uh, it, you know, it's hurting me. At the end of a month, if I hit all my bills right and I get paid on time right, at the end of the month, I have a whopping $200 to take care of things like gasoline in the, in the car. And, uh, yeah, my cigarettes, and of course, everybody says, oh, you shouldn't smoke. Well, you know, shouldn't eat either, you know. So my point in this is I, I just don't feel that Obama has done us a damn bit of good in regards to the cost of living in the United States. Uh, he can talk about jobs all at once. Mostly he's aiming those things at the young guys. <clears throat> and gals, and I understand that they are the future. Now, what about the rest of us? Uh, I just don't see answers out there right now. 
you know, I can keep screaming about it all I want, but I just don't see, I just don't see it. You know, and we voted for him for hope. What kind of hope? Hope for what? Hope for a continuation of the American nightmare and change? What change? You know, the two together meant something was going to be different. I haven't seen that yet. And now he's out there trying to get us to back him for the next election. And I, I just can't see that either. I would like to. Uh, I'd like to hop on board that bandwagon. I'd much rather have a Democrat in office than a Republican. But he's the wrong damn Democrat. Unless he completely change, unless he changes what he's doing. You know, I talked to a, a, a supporter of his the other day. And he came up with this crazy ass idea that the reason Obama's acting the way he did is because he's got some kind of death threat from the bureaucrats running the Fed or something. Didn't quite get a full explanation of that. A lot of subtle innuendo that he didn't quite state. You know, if that's the case, that's bullshit too. Yeah. I'm tired of the paranoia. I'm tired of the crap that uh, passes for activism. The only thing going on that's worth a damn right now happens to be the uh, September 17th Occupy Wall Street. And if you don't know anything about that, please look it up. It's on the web, it is available, and it's getting some press coverage. Uh, they're going to try to take over Wall Street uh, the way people have in the Middle East. They're using uh, the Egyptian action this past spring as their uh, model. You know, that's, you know. We'll get back to talking about wealth, women, and war at some other time. Right now I just felt like talking. And as far as being told by those who are not hurting to, as we say, shut the F up, Truth of the matter is I get more headaches from people that are basically in the same path that I'm on. And one of the reasons for that is they don't want to deal with what's really going on out there. They still want to believe that if they work hard, that someday they will make it. Uh, I don't see that anymore. And I'm not going to shut up. Uh, the system's rooked, you know. And uh, it is now going against us and it's past time as I said in Wealth, Women, and War to toss the tables and start again. So anyway. Well that's it for me for tonight. Uh, thank you for your time. I do hope you have yourself a good evening and as always may your God go with you. Bye bye. It's Wednesday, September 7th, 2011, it's Cliff Potts. I had an interesting lesson in communications today. I was talking to a friend of mine uh, from, well, I met her in Texas, and she's quite a bit younger than I am. And I realized that today's youth and I don't even speak the same language. <laughs> and that's quite all right. Um, it brought home a point that when it comes to politics and street action and the uh, politics of activism, the best thing that I at uh, my age can do is tell you guys out there, uh, the young 20 to 30 group, go ahead and uh, do what you need to do. At least I'll be here for what it's worth to encourage you. <laughs> it's really funny. Uh, and I'm proud to see you guys out there doing your thing. I do wish you the best. Remember, September 17th, Occupy Wall Street. Keep an eye on that. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. It's Sunday, September 11th, 2011, 10 years after the 
attack on the World Trade Center and the Pentagon. Don't really have much to say about that. You probably have had a uh, inundated by it by now. I have a petition going on on the web. I'll see if I can grab the link and put on the bottom. I'd like to make uh, September 11th a national holiday. Uh, the reason for it is, in, in my opinion, for what it's worth. Uh, I don't know. I want to say simple. The reason for it is that uh, basically 100 years from now, the generations to follow will utterly forget the people, the uh, 2,900 people who died uh, 10 years ago today. And uh, the only way I can see of uh, keeping that from happening and keeping it in the forefront of the discussion people's lives is by making it a holiday. So, you can take that for what it's worth. It's uh, a worthy cause and it's something I'm working on. It also happens to be my ex-wife's birthday. So, happy birthday. Hmm. I've changed topics here entirely. Yesterday, I took myself out for a treat. I went and saw the movie Contagion. Is it worth seeing? I would say so. On a scale of one to five, usual type of thing, I'd give it about a four. Uh, the trailer for it and the advertisers for it are a little overhyped. Uh, the movie essentially is about, in my opinion, how the CDC the uh, Center for Disease Control, and the World Health Organization uh, take on a new strain of uh, virus. This is done in a subtle backdrop of massive and swift death from this particular strain. And it deals with the social implications in a rather... I don't know, subtle way. The movie is well done, and like I said, at a, on a 1 to 5 scale, I'd give it a 4. Uh, but if you're looking for uh, Armageddon, this is definitely not it. So, that's what I've been up to this weekend. That and playing computer games and resting and uh, thinking. <sighs> I know, not much to share, but uh, remember guys, these aren't political messages anymore. They're just blogs. They just do it on video rather than write it up. I share what's going on and my thoughts with the general population. And of course, that's boring these days, I guess. You know, if I don't post something uh, three or four times on Facebook. I get very little viewership, and even when I do, <laughs> 20 views on a video is considered good for me, okay? <laughs> oh, God, what a mess. Okay, well, I'll let it go with that. This one's running a little long. The first part, I wasn't even sure I was going to post. That's why uh, there's a delay in it and progression. I reposted the second one about learning the communication dynamics with today's youth. Hey, before I go, again, remember, uh, September 17th, Occupy Wall Street. Be there if you can and track it if you can't. I hope that protest makes some serious waves. It's Cliff Potts. Again, thank you for your time. As always, may your God go with you. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.